and uh, we're gonna be lifting another container. Only weighs four and a half thousand pounds. Jose, since we're just going right there, we can just go slow. Go ahead and kick it a little bit more toward me. Just like try to run me over basically. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in into today's video. Today we're here in the rotator and uh, we're gonna be lifting another container. So yay. Um, we're actually gonna be just moving it like literally, I don't know, a block, like less than a, less than half a mile, pretty close, like from one commercial building to another, I guess they're moving locations. So shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's empty, which normally wouldn't pose a problem for just the land all to winch it on up to the trailer. But the spot that they want it dropped at, the accessibility there isn't the greatest. So we're only gonna be able to get it in at like a 45 degree angle. They want it parallel to the building. So we're gonna have to lift the nose, swing it over. So while we have the rotator, we're just gonna lift it, you know, make it easy on ourselves. And then we'll do the same on the drop off end, lift the nose over. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to Palm Springs and get to work. It's gonna be me and the rotator and then Jose, which you guys haven't seen uh, in the Landall truck 19. So let's go ahead and head over there. And you got the rotator all shined up with that nice tire shine you guys saw in the last video. It looks really good when it's all shined up. All right, let's roll. All right guys, we're uh, on scene here with the container. We're gonna end up lifting the whole thing because it's basically like parallel parked within a, uh, a spot. So we're going to uh, lift the whole container, get it up in the air, set it onto our truck. So I'm gonna let Jose get into here. He's gonna pull basically right alongside the container and then I'm going to uh, set up alongside him, put my outriggers under the trailer and reach over him, grab the container, and uh, pull it, or lift it, and bring it toward us. Like, go kind of back where you were. We'll just go straight on this line here. I don't think it's gonna work like this. Um, let's just get you out of the way. I'm gonna set up basically right next to it. I'll lift it and I'll rotate it around, which would mean that you're gonna need to back under it from... You know what? Why don't you just do this? Pull straight up and just kind of set, stage yourself over there. I'm just gonna set up kind of over there, reach and grab the nose and pull it this way and lift it in the air, you'll back under it. How about that? I think that'll end up working. Considering it's empty, I think we're okay doing something like that. Nothing to roll around in there and get out of whack. Maybe uh, kind of angle myself a little bit here. Gonna match the ending angle of the container. Okay, so I'm gonna get all our outriggers out here. Not gonna put pads down, we're on concrete and uh, we are dealing with lightweight. Okay, I think I'm gonna single out these lines. Help us out a little bit here. Kind of far away, so I think we're gonna need the extra headroom. All right, you wanna take these two and thread them into the top corners there. Okay, I'm gonna unthread snatch blocks. I guess that would be tightening. No, nah, it's empty. empty, empty.
All right, Jose, I think uh, let's get you kind of closer, lined up, and then we'll drop the deck and back under it. idle down here so it's not so loud but uh let's see she only weighs four and a half thousand pounds which is about half the container go ahead and dump the deck Just uh, really focus on lining the back up. The front, I can move, obviously. You know what I mean? That's good. All right, go ahead and keep coming back. Okay, that looks pretty good in the back, so I'm gonna boom up and cable down. Let me get this angle a little better. Let's uh, let's put the skates under these corners. Just in case we gotta slide out from under it. Okay. How's that look? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, if you wanna go ahead and level the deck out. Sweet. All right, let's just grab that ladder and uh, pop the hooks off and then we'll take it down the street here. Jose, since we're just going right there, we can just go slow. It ain't going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna break all this down and move locations, which is literally down, like I can see it from here. Right. Leave it like that for a short journey. Raise up our outriggers here, bring that in. And here comes the main, almost, almost, almost. Come on. Airbags need to come up too. There they go. All right, throttle down. All right, do you kind of have an idea where we're going? You saw it? Yeah, so we're going to that front of that building and you're gonna basically like pass it and then we're gonna back it the corner into the parking stall. We'll slide out from under it and then I'll have to do the same thing, but I'll have to put it further away from me this time. All right, so uh, if you've got a little bit of tail swing, just be mindful of that, but just down the street here. All right, put back to the base. We're in tow with the container. So, 
literally, I'll show you guys how short of a drive we got here. drive might get some traffic Let's go ahead and uh, see how close we can get this thing. So, Jose, just try your best to nestle that corner back into here as best you can. And then, you know, we're really only worried about the back placement, so that way I can set the front over. Right. Hello. Okay, so is it going to be like, where's the yeah, line? Okay. Kind of here, so it's from here to here. So is it and safe I to say this line on the driver's side would be okay? I think the front doors will be right here. Okay. But we don't want to break that curb if we can help it. Sure. Don't we need some wood or something at the ends of each piece somewhere? No? So do, do we know what kind of distance we have from like roughly this line to that yeah, when curb? When we measured it, we were right about here with the doors. Okay, um, and having the... foot up, it's okay if you go to here. Okay. It's okay to do that. Okay, but we do have enough room here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And then... The, let's just say the driver's side, is it safe to say if it lines up on this, we're okay? Uh, that here. We want the edge you want the edge here? here. You see the wall? Yep. No, okay, so. Just that oh, okay. All right. That's, that that's actually is. better. Yeah, okay, perfect. So that's going to be what? Well, All right, Jose, um, we're actually not going that deep into the parking stall. We're gonna remain outside a good 10 or 15 feet. So if you wanna start coming back, where I'm standing is the passenger rear corner of the container. Okay. Go ahead and kick it a little bit more toward me. Just like try to run me over basically. There you go, just hold that line. Keep it coming, keep coming. Coming, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Pull forward, uh, just straight forward. Straight, straight, straight. About four feet, keep going. Okay, hold. Okay, I think that's gonna work out. That should work out. Um, I'll come up next to you and do the same thing. We'll just lift it off. So if you wanna get the bed down there, that'll work. What's that, I'm sorry? Then we need about a foot or two here. Okay. So when you put it in, we'll, we'll bring it a little more snug, right? Um, I can, sure, yeah, I can. Jose, pull forward about, let's say, two feet. Good. Okay, we'll work with that. Okay. Let's have you pull forward. Let's see if you can get out from under it. Just watch me. So I'm, I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to move both ends, kick this over just a little. So I'd rather not position the truck three times. 
see how the skates work out here. Okay, we're slipping. Slipping off a little bit, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Probably. Turn hard right as you go forward. It's probably gonna fall off. If it falls off, I'll I'll lift it. But I want to see if I can kick the. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. That's okay. Let's see what happened here. Um, it's just gonna ride the edge, that's okay. Same thing, keep going. It's just riding the metal, which is fine. Go, uh, go straight. Okay. You can go ahead and uh, level your deck out. If you want to pull forward and get straight, just be mindful of your tail swing here, but um, we can level your deck out. We're good there. All right, and then now that leaves me, I can kind of nestle myself into here. Okay, so a little bit of a change of plans. Now the customer wants the rear end set an additional like five to six feet toward the building. Um, so that's okay, it would have been nice to uh, figure that out before we dropped it, but it's no biggie. We're gonna uh, set the front first, and then we will come to the back again and just set that over, and we should be pretty square. Nose ourselves into it like this, or nose or kick the nose away a bit to give ourselves some space away from that curb. Stick our outriggers out. You guys have a small ladder we could use by chance? Sorry? Do you have a small ladder we could use by chance? Uh, sure. Once we get this airborne, we'll uh, pull the skates off. Probably get that one off, but um, we'll get all the skates off, put those away. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all oh, the small ones are in the other building. I was like, yeah, that's the last thing I want to do. Yeah, I won't have any you problems. Won't fall off. Yeah, exactly. Boom it down. Perfect. All right. Uh, Jose, you want to peel those skates off, please? Thank you. They are, yeah. They're a little finicky sometimes. Like, they tend to slide off one way or another, but for the most part, they, they work pretty well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're able to, as long as we have, you know, clear straight shot we can winch empty containers on with those which is pretty nice Okay. I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap from there because I anticipate when we slide the back, it's gonna yeah, kick, it's gonna yeah. So let me grab those two by sixes. Okay. Because then they can slide. Okay. Jose, I don't know if you wanna just climb up on the container take those off, walk to the back and hook those and I'll shift myself backwards while you do that. I'll do the 
Watch your head. Okay, center of rotation. All right, I went ahead and left the outriggers out, but up on one side, and the boom is out, but in the air as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my mirror here a little bit so I can see what's going on, but I'm just gonna pull forward slow, get kind of square with the street. There is a, a water spigot there that I'm just being mindful of, but I'm plenty clear now. Okay, now that we're clear of that obstacle, I'm gonna start kicking the rear end toward the container, kind of get a little closer to the street here. Closer to the curb, I should say. Same thing. Got to square up to it now. We'll pretty much stop right about there. We're square with the back of the container, which is what we need to lift. So, PTO back on. Let's get our outriggers down again here. Cool. Jose, can you uh, rotate that just a little bit? See how I got caught a little bit? Perfect. Yep. Probably hold it to square it off, but you can set your wood kind of close. No, it didn't. Thank God. All right. Like it? Yep. All right, coming down. I pick it, you stick it. <laughs> What's up, Mike? How we doing? Hi. Good with that placement? I think we do. Okay. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. How we doing? And you got wood on all four corners. Gonna mess around with the rotator a little bit? Yep. Sure. Ready to go. Okay. So the main functions okay. that you're gonna be Thank using you. are boom up. So that obviously booms everything up, right? Okay. You're not really gonna need to boom out anymore. We're gonna wanna boom it in, right? And then your swing. So right now what we'll focus on is booming up and in, and we won't really worry about the cables. Obviously when you boom up, the cables come lower, right? Yeah because you're taking in slack. So as you see, if I boom in, the cables get lower, right? Yeah. So the kind of the goal here is we're gonna wanna boom up and in okay. and kind of just float those cables above the ground. And then once the boom's all the way in and the cables are on the ground, we'll do that thing where we hand tighten, right? Okay. So if you wanna mess with that a little bit, um, just kind of one of those things, especially with remotes, all remotes, if it's not doing what you think you're doing, like if you're moving a function and something's not happening, you're probably hitting the wrong button. Okay. So like there's a winch right there, right? That is this green one, you don't want to hit that because I could rip the whole back end of the truck off. Okay. So just, you know, yeah, you're good. So this, yeah, this is your boom up and this is your boom in. Perfect. Is it going? 
want to just keep booming in right now until we get those cables kind of closer to the ground and then from there we'll go we'll just boom up to keep them off the ground Yes, we'll bring it all the way in. It'll stop automatically. Can't go too far. Might need to, let's go ahead and stop there for a second because I think uh, by the time we, we have so much cable out that by the time it gets, booms all the way in, we're gonna be hitting the side of the truck. Let me grab my gloves. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold the cables like you were earlier and you're gonna cycle between the two, but you're also like, you know, I start getting up to here, you're gonna have to boom down so it comes back down to me. Does that make sense? Okay. There's gonna be an alternation between so all. Is the colors of that? Yes. The yep. And then you're gonna uh, push them away from you to okay. go in. Okay. Yeah. that yeah okay um let's okay we're booming all the way down there let's go ahead and boom in there you go go ahead you can leave the cables where they're at for now just go ahead and boom all the way in i'm just putting a little pressure on them so they don't get stuck Okay, let's go ahead and rotate, which is the very left lever. Go ahead and pull it in the direction of white. Boom up just a little to clear that light on top of that spreader bar. There you go. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead, keep going. That should be good for now. Okay, so go ahead and leave it there for a second. I'm going to uh, put these snatch blocks back on. So that's just a matter of hooking these in. Okay, go ahead and boom up slow. Okay, keep going. And at the same time, you're going on a cable out on blue because it's a little too tight. There you go. Kind of the trick is to do it like as you have some pressure so you're not uh, unwinding the drum. So a little less on blue. There you go. Okay, that's enough on blue. Now just keep booming up until it snugs up real, just a little bit. Okay, that's good there. Now cable in on blue. You got a little bit of room left, so we can cable in slow. Uh, in, other way. There you go. A little more. A little more. A little more. Okay, that's good. Now same on white. A little more. Right there, perfect. Cool, that's it. And then, uh, yeah, just smack that red button on the left. The, yep, right there, that turns it off. All right, and then we got to bring the outriggers up. 
So this control right here brings up your front. So if you want to hold that, push it up, that'll bring the front up. Yep. Yeah, push it away from you. There you go. Cool. Okay, we can stop there for a second. Now the rears are controlled independently. So this controls your driver rear, this controls your passenger rear. So if you do both of those away from you at the same exact time, that'll bring the rears up. There you go. Keep going until those stop. Keep going, keep going. Yep. Keep going, they'll stop automatically. Sweet, you can close that door up. That's it, that's a wrap. All right, well, that's a wrap on uh, that job. That was pretty, I mean, it was, there was a lot of moving parts involved, but it was pretty easy for the most part. Um, and customer gave, well, she gave me a $20 tip and said split it between you two, but Jose got all that, which is cool. So Jose's got a paid lunch, which is very nice, much appreciated. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the yard, see what else we can get into. All right, guys, well, admittedly, uh, the day kind of got away from me. It's four o'clock now. Um, after that job finished, I got back here to the yard, but then immediately went and did a, a, a lift for, uh, I can't really go into too many details because it's for the Coachella Festival and a big project that they're working on, but it was a pretty uh, cool lift that we got to do that'll ultimately uh, end up being a lot bigger. It was kind of like a test lift that we ended up doing. So unfortunately I can't really divulge that at the moment, but hopefully uh, here in the next couple months I will be able to let you guys know what we did and uh, show you guys the finished project, which will be really cool. So uh, with that said, that's gonna be it for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was just container lift, but it was something a little different. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought about the video and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys.